This instructional video will illustrate the recommended procedure for using the Mueller DVS system from the Mueller Gas Products Division. It is only to be used as a training aid. It is not intended as a replacement for the operating instructions or repair manuals. DVS operations should only be performed by properly trained maintenance personnel. Before beginning any no-blow procedure, be sure to read, understand, and follow the operating instructions in the manual. And remember, always use the appropriate safety equipment, always wear eye protection, and always use genuine Mueller parts. Caution! During any of these operations, should any problem arise resulting in uncontrolled gas to the atmosphere, use the meter set shutoff valve to stop the flow of gas. Designed to meet the needs of today's gas utility and its customers, the Mueller DBS system is a portable system of tools that allows field technicians to safely replace gas meters and perform a variety of other procedures on the meter set, all without shutting off or interrupting gas service to the customer. This can be done quickly and safely at any time virtually eliminating the need for customer appointments and trips onto the customer's property to inspect and relight pilots. Worker safety is improved. Many potential liability issues are eliminated. And the DBS system allows service technicians to make better use of their time. And it also reduces change-out time. A complete DBS system set consists of a kit of basic machines and tools, plus a combination saddle and control chamber and a gas bag, which are purchased in addition to the kit. The saddle control chamber and the gas bag are available in different sizes and are matched to the type and size of the gas line or fitting on which the DBS system will be used. Let's begin by attaching the machine to the meter set. The first step is to clean the location where it will be attached, removing loose paint, corrosion, or debris. Secure the saddle and the control chamber on the fitting or the pipe. Make sure that the control chamber valve is closed. Then connect the approved manometer or calibrated gauge Attach the CNG supply to the control chamber. Then turn on the CNG and verify a positive supply pressure. Lubricate both the pilot drill and the hole saw cutter with Mueller cutting grease. Connect the hole saw tool to the control chamber and lock it in place by pushing the locking cam arms to point away from the saddle. Now attach the drill to the stem of the hole saw tool. Open the control chamber valve, pushing the assembly down until the pilot drill contacts the elbow or piping. Mark along the exposed stem of the hole saw tool with a marker or tape at a point above the top of the hole saw tool stuffing box, equal to three quarters of the outside diameter of the elbow or pipe. This mark will indicate when to stop the drilling operation, assuring the pilot drill and hole saw do not drill too deeply. Set the drill to a clockwise rotation. When the pilot drill goes through the wall of the elbow or pipe, stop. Retract the saw and drill, then close the control chamber valve and remove the hole saw tool. Attach the magnet tool and lock it in place. Open the control chamber valve, then push the magnet into the pipe or fitting, and move it around for about 5 seconds. Retract the magnet, close the control chamber valve, and clean the magnet to remove all shavings. Reattach the drilling tool and lock it. Open the control chamber valve and push the hole saw tool forward 
making sure it settles into the drilled hole. Resume drilling until the tape mark on the stem reaches the top of the hole saw stuffing box. The sound of the drill will change slightly, and the speed will increase as the hole is completed. Retract the hole saw. Close the control chamber valve, remove the tool, and check for the coupon inside. Begin the cleaning and tapping process by locking the magnet tool on the control chamber. Open the control chamber valve and push the magnet tool into the elbow or pipe. Sweep the magnet tool around the inside. If the coupon was not recovered at the end of the drilling operation, try now to recover it with the magnet tool. Retract the magnet tool, close the control chamber valve, and remove it. Clean the magnet of shavings. Repeat these steps at least three times until the shavings are gone. Then lubricate the tap with Mueller cutting grease. Connect the threading tool to the control chamber and lock it in place. The tapping tool must be hand operated. Use the tap wrench provided in the kit. Open the control chamber valve and lower the threading tool until it contacts the elbow or pipe. Apply downward force while turning until the tap grabs. Turn 10 more complete revolutions. Back the threading tool out and retract it. Close the control chamber valve and remove the threading tool. Again, use the magnet tool at least twice to remove shavings from the threaded hole. Follow the detailed instructions in the DBS manual for selecting the appropriate gas bag for the application and for assembling it to the bagging tool. In this video, we will pick up the demonstration at the point where the bagging tool has already been properly prepared. Pull the bag into the launch tube. Connect the bag tool with the alignment arrow pointing upstream to the control chamber and lock it in place. Open the control chamber valve, push the launch tube forward, rotating back and forth slightly as the guide pin on the end enters the threaded hole in the elbow or pipe and the end of the launch tool seats in the hole. No more forward progress will be possible once it is seated. Make sure the cap is in place on the valve stem, then rock, do not turn, the inflation stem back and forth gently toward the alignment arrow. Push it forward until the bag is in position upstream of the launch point. Close the valve stem by removing the cap. The gauge on the bag tool should read zero. Inject CNG through the valve stem to inflate the bag to between 17 and 22 PSIG. Shut off the gas supply stream and perform the work required in the service order. Monitor the delivery pressure using an approved manometer or calibrated gauge. To restore the service after the work is complete, Turn on the system supply and purge as close to the bag off point as possible. And deflate the bag by reattaching the cap to the stem valve. Rock the bag tool gently, do not turn it, and slowly pull the bag into the bag tool launch tube. Pull the bag tool launch tube up above the control chamber valve. Close the valve and remove the bag tool. Apply approved pipe sealant to the plug threads. Attach the completion plug to the completion tool.
connect and lock the completion tool to the control chamber. Open the control chamber valve. Push down on the completion plug until it contacts the plug or pipe. Then turn clockwise to thread the plug into the threaded hole. Pull up of the completion tool to disengage from the plug. Close the control chamber valve and remove the completion tool. Then remove the CNG supply. Then remove the saddle and control chamber unit. Tighten the plug with a socket wrench. Then check for leaks. Touch up any paint or coating in accordance with gas company approved procedures. Then clean and store the tools. Inspect visually for obvious defects and inflate the bag to approximately 4 to 6 PSIG. Watch the gauge on the bag tool for dropping pressure and look for indications of leakage. If any leakage is detected, replace the bag in accordance with the DBS manual. This completes our instructional video to illustrate the recommended procedure for using the Mueller DBS system from the Mueller Gas Division. It is only to be used as a training aid. It is not intended as a replacement for the operating instructions or repair manuals. DBS repairs should be performed only by properly trained maintenance personnel. Before beginning any no-blow procedure, be sure to read, understand, and follow the operating instructions in the manual. And remember, always use the appropriate safety equipment always wear eye protection, and always use genuine Mueller parts.